Hello, Jason Bates here, owner of Electrum Financial, located right here in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona, where a mortgage is not a flip of the coin. If you like the lowest rates at the lowest cost, then allow me to put my 30 years of experience to work for you. You've got nothing to lose. Here is this week's mortgage market at a glance. Mortgage rates initially increased in the past two weeks, but eventually decreased at the beginning of last week. However, these short-term fluctu fluctuations are insignificant compared to the bigger picture where rates have been in a state of indecision. The uncertainty is likely to lead to a significant change in the future. The 10-year Treasury yields offer a smaller version of the broader picture that we see with mortgage rates since they are highly correlated. Treasuries, which are highly correlated with mortgage rates, have been staying close to their low range due to concerns over the banking sector. This week, reports surfaced that First Republic Bank is on the brink of failure. When banks fail, other financial institutions take over to minimize FDIC insurance payouts by selling assets, including mortgage-backed securities. This leads to lower prices due to higher supply and in the bond market, lower prices mean higher rates. The only thing that can change this is inflation. The current market stagnation is a reflection of the present inflation stagnation, which has been more persistent than expected. PC PCE prices released this week were close to expectations, but not eager to return to target levels. Lower pending home sales, which is an advanced indicator of existing home sales, were seen as a result of higher mortgage rates in March. This indicates that the housing market is also in limbo and not ready for a sharp rebound. National Association of Realtors reported this data, and a chart comparing the two is shown here. The upcoming week has important economic data releases and the Fed's latest rate decision. It's highly likely that there will be another quarter percent rate hike, but the focus will shift to the data to determine if this is the highest rate we will see for the foreseeable future. The upcoming release of the jobs report on Friday and the consumer price index on the following Wednesday could have significant impact on the current trend of rates if they provide a consistent message. So there you have this week's mortgage market at a glance. If you'd like to know more, reach out to me. I'd like to meet you. Thanks for watching. And if you're looking to purchase or refinance a home in Arizona, I'd like to be your broker of choice. Until next time, take care and stay safe.